Okay, so I'm just finishing up a jasmine. I'm doing some a sketchbook study of. It's not really a particularly polished illustration, but it's one of the few things that's out in the UK at this time of year. So what I'm doing now is I'm just working into the um into the yellows, putting a little bit more body colour in. I'm being very careful not to swallow up my highlights because if you swallow up your whites, then you're really lost. You need to keep those whites the white of the paper. Um, you need to keep those till the very end if you possibly can. Uh, so I'm just putting a bit of a bit of body into this yellow, and this is just literally this is just a little sprig of winter jasmine that I found growing from somebody's garden, reaching over the road. I spend my life stealing plants from other people's gardens. I probably should stop, um, but I'm just putting the body colour in now. And what's nice about the winter jasmine is not only it's meant to smell but this one doesn't but not only is it sort of a splash of color but it also is quite nice to have a plant where there are no real leaves because all the leaves right now are um look here they're like little buds they're, they're they haven't really you can see on the specimen they haven't really come out so that's nice so to work into the very sort of darkest details and to give some structure to the flowers i've mixed up it's this same yellow which is cadmium yellow light I've added a tiny bit of a very bright sort of sap green and a tiny bit of orange all mixed together. And it's made for quite a dark colour, so I'm going to use it very sparingly. But I hope it'll help add that last bumph, that last kind of whack of, of tonality that I need to make this sketch stand on its own two feet. So right now it's a little lacklustre. Um, but of course, the more you work on the edges of flowers or the darks of flowers, the more overworked and muddy they look. So it's a real, um, it's a real balance trying to get detail in and get tonality in without compromising the integrity and the fluidity of the flower, you know, trying to make it look light. I guess it's one of those things, isn't it? where you realise what you're doing, which is basically emulating the colours of nature, you realise it's basically impossible. But we do what we can and we use the tools that we've got. Um, speaking of which, I am using, these are pan watercolours and they are Winsor & Newton, which I favour. And this brush, oh, the writing's worn off it, or I'd have shown you, is a Winsor & Newton uh, Series 7 sable brush which I love because they hold their points and they also hold quite a lot of paint all at the same time. So you don't need to worry that suddenly you're going to be, you know, basically using a much too thick tool to try and get really fine detail in. Okay, this flower's, this flower's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's top one. But the other ones are all right, so that's something. Um, okay, and then finally... There's in the centre of each flower, there's one, um, looks like there's one pistol, one stamen. So I'm going to add those in and they're a tiny, tiny spot of kind of a bright little green. Ooh, ready? Ooh, ah, scary. So I'm going to pop those in. That one's there. Yep. Just that. And that one you can't see. And then, there you go, a little bit of yellow to add it in and on that one and then one slightly darker bit I'm going to use a bit of kind of purpley blue might be an error of judgment just to really make that little bit stand out there we go a bit there I should do a bit there maybe don't want to compromise anything but then I don't want it to look mealy and weak I think that's gonna to have to do it. I don't really I don't want to I don't want to risk making the rest of that flower too heavy so let's just allow that there to stand okay right not brilliant piece of work but it'll do I uh, hope you enjoyed me watching the, the me hope you enjoyed watching this my name is lizzie harper i'm a botan botanical illustrator and natural history illustrator and this is my illustration of winter jasmine um and there we go there's a paint box
there's the colours I've been using. These ones up here. Um, and here's my brush. And there's the flower. Thanks then. Bye.